The last time I looked at automating Copilot, Microsoft had put two options on the table. Scheduled prompts, which was in a by request only preview, and Copilot Actions that was in public preview. But in an unexpected turn of events, the technology that looked like it was least favoured, scheduled prompts, came out on top and Copilot Actions disappeared. So now scheduled prompts is the winner. Has it improved? How do you use it? And what might it be telling us about the future of one of the most requested new capabilities in Copilot, usage automation? But before we start, a quick introduction. My name is Nick. I help smaller businesses achieve more using AI, and I specialize in Microsoft 365 Copilot and the AI tools that are part of Microsoft's platform. If what you see in this video is useful to you, it would be great if you could give it a like, drop a comment below letting me know what helped you the most, and consider subscribing so you can see more like this in the future. And if you need more direct help with your organization's Copilot adoption or other AI project, consider reaching out to learn how I can help. Information on this is down in the description. I certainly didn't predict the schedule prompts would come out on top, but I actually saw it as a better foundational approach to automating Copilot than Copilot Actions. But earlier in the year, it just seemed like Copilot Actions had all the wind in its sails. But now, if you run a prompt in Copilot Chat, you can simply take it and along with copying it and saving it, you can schedule it. The UI here implies that in the future, we might be able to schedule prompts to act beyond Copilot Chat, but right now that's the only option. You can arrange different schedules to your needs, but there's also a weird restriction whereby you can only schedule up to 15 uses of a specific prompt. Once you've created a schedule prompt, if you want to get back to it to deactivate it or to run it immediately, you can do so here. There is no way through this interface though to modify the scheduled prompt. When the prompt runs, it appears in your conversation history and is highlighted for you to take a look at it. Beyond the 15 run limit, there are some distinct limitations though versus the other, ultimately less favoured option, Copilot Actions. You could send the outputs of Copilot Actions to different places, so hopefully that Copilot Chat option in the Scheduled Prompt Creator dialog is a placeholder for more options in the future. There also isn't a way to do anything dynamic with your prompt. You can either run a generalized prompt like review my emails or something specifically grounded like create a summary of a specific customer feedback spreadsheet. So long as the sources you want to use are well surfaced by Copilot's general Microsoft 365 wide grounding, then you won't really run into any problem with this. The types of things you might use this for is perhaps to get a summary of your meeting preparation at the start of the week, or a review of actions you've taken on throughout the week. Prompts that you run frequently at particular times are where it might give you a slight head start for it to happen before you arrive at Copilot Chat. After all, the objective of Copilot is not to save you hours with any one action, but to allow you to layer different aspects of your use that allow you to save time and focus overall. That said though, there is already a very robust ability to save and reuse prompts in Copilot Chat, and even if you use a scheduled prompt every day, having to go back and reschedule it every 15 cycles probably means the efficiency of this solution is a toss-up at best with just using a prompt saved in the prompt gallery. I have to say that I don't particularly like the Copilot Chat conversation history as a new inbox, and I really hope that teaser of there be possibly being options beyond Copilot Chat for where you might send these notifications in the future becomes reality. If you could choose to send your prompt run notifications or outputs to Teams or perhaps Outlook, this would feel far more usable in my opinion. If you watched my earlier video comparing Copilot Actions to Scheduled Prompts, you'll remember that one of the areas of greatest opportunity I highlighted was that Scheduled Prompts could easily be opened and viewed in Power Automate. And while the options here were pretty rudimentary, it opened up possibilities for automation that Actions did not, and offered exciting potential for the future. But now you'll note that the linkage to Power Automate has gone. Is this an intentional change or just an updated UI? Well, the bad news is this. Scheduled prompts, as far as I can tell, no longer operate from Power Automate. 
at least nowhere in Power Automate that any user, including a tenant global admin or system admin for all Power Platform environments can see. When you create a scheduled prompt, it gets scheduled somewhere, but nowhere that you can see or manipulate on a tenant level. I went on a real hunt for these, so if you know where they have gotten hidden, please do let me know down in the comments. But if that's the bad news, what's the good news? Well, in May, Microsoft announced and started rolling out an API for Microsoft 365 Copilot. This will enable better auditing of Copilot in third-party systems, but also through a chat API and retrievals API, essentially giving API access to the semantic index, it gives us the ability to interact with Copilot programmatically. While the full capabilities of these features are not necessarily fully known yet, for those who have had a deep desire to work with Microsoft 365 Copilot in different ways and have the capability to do so, a full array of API options is likely to be considerably more powerful than just finding ways to hack scheduled prompts in Power Automate. Assuming the chat API allows both prompt initiation and output collection, the output part was entirely absent from the Power Automate side of scheduled prompts previously, it will be possible to build extremely robust automation tools that take full advantage of Microsoft 365 Copilot. And assuming the Microsoft 365 Copilot API delivers on that initial promise, I think a scaled down and simplified automation tool like scheduled prompts feels a lot more fitting where that complexity and sophistication is unneeded. After all, filling a user's Power Automate flow list with a bunch of scheduled prompts could potentially be confusing. However, the 15 run limitation needs to go, and that where to send the results teaser needs to become a real option. If you look at the automation options that now exist in the Copilot ecosystem, halfway through 2025, we are now in a much clearer place than we were just six or nine months ago. The general user population has basic capabilities for automation and focused enrichment through scheduled prompts, prompt saving, SharePoint agents, and for some, the agent builder. The technically interested, those known as makers, can scale up to more sophisticated agents and even autonomous agentic functions. And for pros, either those using low-code or dev tools, will be able to realize end-to-end -end workflows that bring AI into a wide range of Microsoft 365 services, make full use of Microsoft 365 Copilot inputs and outputs, and connect to pretty much any other data or reasoning layer we please all in an ecosystem that carries the promise of Copilot being the UI for AI. Now, if Microsoft's marketing teams could focus on conveying this big picture in a way that business leaders and IT pros could understand and get behind, we might get back to the excited momentum we had at the start of 2024 when Microsoft seemed to be ruling the business AI space. Is this the scheduled prompts I thought we were getting? No. But in that bigger picture, it makes sense, it's useful, and has a clear path to develop along. What do you think of this new feature? Let me know down in the comments. Thanks for watching through to the end. Until the next video, bye bye.